What is up guys, welcome to a rate my team, but in this video I actually do the casual stuff because my stats are so ass and I'd rather not like do, not even play ladder, so let's just go over the matches I did do. So I can understand where Ghost Channel is coming from with this team, I mean with Tori's little, with Tori's up, uh, with Tori's little pop up. With Tori's pop, you could uh, do alpha assist by backdashing, but it still doesn't change the fact how as Zeo Red is. I always have an issue with what he does. Uh, the fact is, like, Zeo Red has always been an awkward freaking character in general, and I'm just, like, not a fan. But I'm always a fan of Alpha's tickles. I try to dash forward to block, but I guess I missed my timing. So we get that nice kick off, and then we do his freaking leap kick, because his leap kick is the only good freaking thing about the damn character, sadly. I mean, lights, I mean, fired up kick is nice and all, it's just, it's just not enough. Bam. Yeah, I mean, obviously, doing a shield is never the better option, and Big Bang Slash is so trash. Just not a fan of it, but you know, when he has those leap kicks, he's good to go. I mean, the question is, can he be a ladder character? I mean... He, first off, A, Red Zeal will never be a ladder character for a long ass time unless they actually give him something worthwhile. And second, I mean, this team build, like, is, is interesting, just not, like, anything nuanced for Zeal Red in general. Because Zeal Red has, like, absolutely nothing going for him in his moveset because Enway decides, hey, let's make a character that can't connect any of his moves correctly, not have any good range, not do anything anything with our lives and it's like actually ridiculous i don't know where they got the idea for this character all i know is they should have fired their tech guy afterwards because lo and behold uh, it was just that bad like i appreciate tori for what it's worth and tommy gets those kicks in but yeah i just it's just not like worth i mean i could even i would never bring this team on ladder for a lot of reasons it's very not situational and nothing really works for the character at the end of the day. Look at that. I had to do a poke because the dude wants the freaking turtle. So I'm trying to... I couldn't see when the strike was coming. He played the waiting game with me. But luckily I got that attack in. I was trying to go for alpha. But lo and behold, I forgot. But light speed kick wouldn't have killed anyways. And then I would just have nothing but trash. Like honestly, Zeo Red's always going to need a buff. It doesn't even matter like... What goes on with the character? I just, I just feel like, z at the end of the day, he is who he is. It's just that nothing can really save this character, like Antonio, and, and you know, we just kind of just gotta let it go. But I do appreciate, like, you know, some class. I mean, at least you guys are wanting me to do something with class, and um, that's nice and all, but. You know, I'm just, if you're going to make me do something with class, then I'm going to give you some honest answers about your decisions. If you are playing this, you are a psychopath, and you should definitely invest in better team builds. I mean, Tori's nice to assist, and Alpha doing the poke damage is always a great thing. But at least that's fun. You know, you do Tori into Alpha because you have the range. Wow, I surprisingly beat that out. And then he got a shield. And then he did the Tori. Then he did Scorpina. And then he just spammed. I could have waited there and did a shield, but obviously I was rushing it. Should have waited. All right, let's get to our last match. So, yeah, the team's, you know, D. Team's kind of D tier. Well, I guess I can make it a D plus since, you know, it does have a shield assist and you have alpha for poke damage. You get them to waste their shield, but it always depends on the character and what their moveset is. Um, it's very important to know that. Uh, if only Big Bang Slash was as good as, you know, we gave it credit for it, but it's just so garb. I wasted my shield because I had Tori, so I wasn't really, you know, beating myself around the bush for that one. So we go for those hitboxing, you know, I try to rush Magnet Defender, you know, he has like one shield assist. Yeah, Big Bang Slash should just die and get reworked like a normal human being. So we backdash, we give him the alpha tickles, we get a couple damage to count in with that. I mean, that's like the only thing I could see. I'm barely using Zeo Red. I'm mostly doing Alpha because Alpha is going to do more damage than Zeo Red has like no damage in a lot of his freaking attacks. So it's actually ridiculous. You can't really do anything. And Magnet Defender will always be trash. And there's that. 
So win a game, win a game, I take that hit. Obviously that doesn't work, and then Big Bang Slash, but Big Bang Slash barely connects. Close up on my junk. And that concludes our video, guys. Thanks for watching. You rate my team. Go to the channel. It's just eh, it's just too C. Well, D plus. I'm rating this a D plus because eh, there's too many situations with Tommy that already makes the character crappy. Thanks for watching, guys. Be good. See you next time. Peace out.